Ford, one of the world's biggest car manufacturers, announces a $1 billion center to build electric cars for all over Europe. The plant in the German city of Cologne comes with a promise that Ford's entire range of new European cars will be electric by 2030. Behind all the glitz of the big motor companies competing with each other in a race to go green is a grim reality. Europe has had a dreadful record for pollution for many years. New research published in the Lancet Planetary Health Journal says more than 50,000 deaths a year from the effects of pollution could be prevented if World Health Organization guidelines on air quality were met. Many analysts believe the limits and the carbon neutral goals set for European governments are too low. My concern is in fact they need to go faster. Um, if, if, if you consider the implications of climate catastrophe, the climate emergency that we're living through right now, uh, the impacts of air pollution on human health, uh, on plant health, things like that, there's, there's a lot more that we ought to be doing. Replacing cars with electric power instead of petrol and diesel is crucial for countries to get even close to their emissions targets. Across Europe, there's a wide variation of approaches to EVs, electric vehicles. The big manufacturers are now clamouring for a market share, but there are problems. The three common barriers to EV ownership are always the same three things. They're the initial purchase price of the car, their perception of range anxiety and the perception that there are not enough charging points. Like this. Another aspect is what gives the electric cars their power. For now, it's a lithium ion battery. There's a vast scale of production needed, but so far Europe only has some factories being built in Sweden and Germany. Europe makes 3% of batteries, while Asia, led by China and South Korea, manufactures 85% of them. Alongside the zero carbon targets and new technology, it's the human attitude that's key to success or failure. Campaigners know there's a need to go beyond street protests to capture hearts and minds, and more governments are using enforcement rather than encouragement. There's one standout figure in statistics, though. An estimated $5 trillion of investment a year goes into fossil fuels. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera.